Hello, my name is David and here again with Tetro. Today we're going to use Tetro's new bleed pump machine to bleed our brakes. Tools needed while using the Tetro bleed pump are 5mm Allen, 4mm Allen, 3mm Allen, 7mm open end wrench, 8mm open end wrench, 10 and 12mm open end wrench, and T15 Torx wrench. Tectro's bleed pump machine comes with the Tectro bleed pump kit that includes adapters for Tectro and TRP brakes, as well as all other major brands, and O-rings for each of the adapters, disc brake block, as well as Tectro mineral oil. Let's go over the features of Tectro's new bleed pump machine. It is a 110 only volt pump, as well as has a external replaceable fuse. Up front we have the reservoir drain, as well as the fluid level that is clearly shows the high and low levels. We also have an internal filter that we can come out and check for clean, as well as replace and clean if necessary. Tectro's bleed pump machine is only for use for mineral oil, not DOT or other any other oils, only mineral oil. So I've attached a splitter to Tectro's bleed pump machine. And you're going to need this splitter in order to bleed Tectro's Allegra twin brake lever and the twin calipers. Okay, using the splitter on the Tectro bleed pump machine, I'm going to attach to both left and right bleeding hoses, making sure you're pushing the hoses all the way in and holding the connector back like so. So we're going to use an M7 adapter onto the bleeder hose. It's easily attached and comes in your Tectro bleed kit. Let's prepare so that we can attach the bleeding hose to the caliper. I'm going to remove the adapter from the hose so that it is easier to screw into the caliper. Then taking my M7 wrench, we loosening and removing the hose port screw and then quickly attaching the adapter back into the caliper and reattaching the bleed hose. making sure everything is nice and tight. This is the first caliper, we will do the same on the second. Okay, let's remove the bleed port screw on the Tectro lever. First, making sure that the reservoir is level to the ground. Carefully remove the screw, and now let's attach the adapter. And the connection into the reservoir and reattaching the bleed hose making sure everything is nice and finger tight do not torque these very high it is not necessary okay now we're getting ready to go ahead and flush the system I've already made sure that all the connections are nice finger tight I've connected and checked the splitter and I've connect all the checked all the connections onto the Tectro bleed pump machine. I'm going to go ahead and attach the flushing hose into the drainage container by just sliding it into the top like so. We're going to be looking for about 20 mils. Okay, so just before half and then we're going to quickly turn off the Tectro bleed pump machine. Here we go. I'm checking all the connections to make sure that I don't have any leaks anywhere. And there we got about a half a bottle, so everything is definitely cleaned and flush and ready for the fresh mineral oil. Let's remove the flushing hose from the old oil and we're just going to attach 
the flushing hose into the bleed pump machine by just pushing it in like so. Let's go ahead and start the bleeding process. Holding the hose here and also being ready to use the brakes once you've turned this on, I'm going to use and pull the lever during the bleeding process. Okay, here we go, turn it on. Okay, just gonna keep pulling the lever, up compressing the system to make sure that all the bubbles are out. It's looking pretty good. Looks like we've cleared all the bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the bleed pump machine. Okay, let's remove the bleed hose from the lever reservoir. First I'm doing the screw here to release and then I can easily turn off, turn out the reservoir, the connector out of the reservoir, like so, and using the T15 torch wrench, quickly installing the bleeder hose screw, like so. Let's remove the bleed hung hose from the caliper, loosening up the compression part so that this turns, and then removing the adapter from the bleeding port. Reinstalling the bleeding the bleed port hose, uh, bleed port screw. making sure that it's nice and tight, seven to eight newton meters. Now that we've removed all the bleeding hoses from the two calipers and the lever, using our alcohol solution, let's clean, just making sure that all the residue and oils are off. As well as the Lever reservoir, making sure there's no residue to collect dirt. So we flushed everything. We're ready to test to make sure that the modulation is proper in the two caliper system. Everything feels very good and it's ready to install.